Well, I promised a part two to the last video, and we are here once again on Matriki Park in New Zealand. So, if you didn't catch that last hunt, to quickly kind of catch up to speed, we are able to take down a five-star Stika Stag and a five-star Shammy. But in the process, we found all kinds of potential future trophies, including a one-star adult Melanistic Fallow and three four-star mature Red Deer. So the original plan had been to pass multiple age cycles and see what happened with those Red Deer. Then we got those couple of five stars, the video got really long, and I promised a part two. So we're back again. We're going to continue trying to age our herds and manage for future quality genetics. And we're going to see if we can add even more trophies to that lodge. Now our first order of business is these Red Deer. This is the herd that has the three four star matures. And I talked about it in the last video. Let's say this is best case scenario and all these things make five star. Taking out three stags with really high genetic potential will tank the overall average and therefore hurt the future respawn. So ideally, we can take out some of the ones with weak genetics first and help out the respawns. So here's the thing. Taking out a two star adult is almost never a good idea and it may be a bad idea this time. But I can tell for sure that's uneven. Now, uneven antlers on a red deer, not a big deal. But he's also not huge for a two-star adult. So I'm willing to take the risk because of what other genetics are in here. And hopefully, even if he's sub like say 80%, it can actually help things out because of what quality we have in that herd right now. And we're about to find out, was that the correct call or not? Managed to double lung him, obviously we're all good there. 61%. Perfect. Literally perfect. That's a huge deal. So I could see in the distance like these long brow tines. I knew it was uneven. He's more uneven than he looked quite frankly. But it's just he was not big for a two star adult. And knowing what's in there and knowing what likely we're going to be taking out of the herd very soon. We had to try to do something to help out those future respawns. Now when that next age cycle comes we should have I think three one star youngs that have all spawned into that herd with those big ones in there. That should really help our future. By the way, that right there, we can't really see him that well from here, is our Melanistic Fallow Deer. He'll still be the same size. We have not passed an age cycle since the last video, but we'll be visiting him hopefully later on as well. Now having one herd of Red Deer that is producing a ton of big ones is obviously a really good thing, but if we could get that up to a couple of herds producing big ones, obviously that would be even better. And this herd is, at least compared to the other one, Lacking quite a bit. Two two-star matures. This guy looks just a shade grayer, so I think he's probably a year or two older. In theory, then, lower genetics of the two. And before he gets too far, at least gonna try to take him out. I think that's like a liver hit or something. I'm fairly confident he's gonna go down, but, you know, if we can... Yeah, he's starting to stumble now. If we can help that out, that's good. I'm curious... I know he was moving forward, but I didn't think we were so far back that we'd miss the lungs. Maybe like... More liver damage, but also clipped a lung? I'm... Kinda interested to see what happened. You know, I talked about the last video a little bit. That was a little reminiscent of the 5 star Sticky Deer that we shot, but anyway... Uh... Boy, it sure looked like intestine blood there, but... Maybe it actually wasn't. Cause that's... Indicating a, a lethal hit. Where we impacted the right lung? Just didn't look like pink blood laying on the ground. Follow-up shot, not so good. Second follow-up shot, actually got him, looks like in the front of the left lung. So we'll take it, 60%er, about the same as the adult that we just took out. And what the heck, we kinda got moving this way? Apparently there's some sandbar deer in this area. Let's go up into this unexplored part of the mountains, just see what's maybe out at this time of day. Well, I guess I really shouldn't be surprised, but we just got a bunch of feral goats out here and it is some of the worst genetics maybe anywhere on the map all one stars and i guess maybe we'll just take that front one out this this would be very much like a you know a project basically to manage a herd like this where it'd be producing any kind of five stars it would take a long time but if they're you know in this area we're not terribly far from where we hunt red deer they're not hard to get to Maybe as we start to chip away, take out one one star mature, it can actually help. As for genetics though, thought I saw uneven horns on him, by the way. A little better shooting that time, straight through the heart. 33%, so I mean, sure will help. 
but I think it's going to take more than just one goat to really make a difference there. So this is kind of one of the things with Sambar and Sika on this map. They live to be so old, both species go to 20. This is a 3 star mature we've been watching for a while, and he's just still a 3 star. But I'm hoping eventually he's going to get somewhere. As for this one though, uneven stag, he is only a 1 star adult. But we're going to go ahead and try to take him out. You can see on his right side, he's just got the 2 times. On the left, he's got 3, so hopefully that helps. They, again, they take so long to age. It's just kind of, you know, really long-term play, even trying to manage those herds. But you gotta, with animals that have a peak age, as high as these, these deer do, you gotta pick out youngs and adults to manage. Otherwise, it takes forever to have any, you know, results. I will say that was one of the weirder tracks we've ever had. He made a couple of circles getting down to here. Looks like some red deer up in that area, but we'll probably leave those alone. Yeah, not the best shot a little far back and along. That explains the lengthy track. 73% though, that's actually interesting. So maybe that herd's got better genetics than I thought. You can see, very clearly uneven, and 73% would get nowhere near 5 star, but that's actually kind of decent. Maybe that is making a, a big difference in, you know, this area and that herd. Ooh, boy. We have a four-star sandbar and a three-star sandbar down here? I'm not sure if there's anything, you know, necessarily management-worthy in that herd. We'll have to look. That... Wait, is that the three-star? That is an impressive-looking stag. I couldn't even see what we were spotting. It was just the star rating? Oh, yeah, that is a really nice-looking sandbar. Hopefully, he's going to just keep on like moving forward as he drinks there because I want to get another look at him. I don't know, you know, what a good four star looks like. This is the first time we've encountered one. I do know the five stars are huge and I definitely feel as though he is moving towards that huge category with antlers like that. Both of these guys I think have real potential because that one, that three star mature, he's not super dark. So this, much like the last hunt where we more focused on Sika and some other areas, I wanted to check in on some spots just in case before we try to age up those red deer. And we've got some really encouraging sandbar genes down here. So let's, uh, while those guys are starting to pop up over the hill, he's uneven? I mean... Can see that maybe helps things out. That looks awesome. The frame on that guy, that's super encouraging. So it's not a great spot to get to. It's a fairly, you know, lengthy walk or run. But we're definitely coming back up here after the next age cycle, just in case. Now, as for our management stag, definitely uneven. Hopefully that's going to help out. I actually got him in the brain. 74%, right about the same as the last one with a very similar, like, 2 by 3 rack. But again... Especially the three star. I think he's got a legit shot and maybe the four star makes it anyway. There's good genetics in that herd for sure. So interesting development. We have passed an age cycle and this is the herd of red deer that had all those big stags. No five stars to be found. We have this four star mature here and I think he was probably the one that was a three star adult. So I think he'll get there. But I thought one or both of those other four stars were going to make it. Now we've got a three star mature Got a, a pretty young looking one star adult that's got some promise. And a two star adult back there. So that is pretty interesting. Though definitely not going to complain. I, I'm not sure what we'd have done if we had a bunch of five stars just sitting in that herd right now. However, because we know aging has happened, our melanistic fallow deer that lives somewhere over in that area also will have aged. So we're going to jump in the UTV, go A and take a look at him and see what kind of, hopefully, promise that he's showing now one year later. Oh, perfect. He is a two-star adult. That is exactly what we wanted to see. So, not going to worry too much about looking real close from a distance. We're just going to bring the UTV over. And I see nothing but promise here. Really good palmation, perfectly even. And the mere fact that he did jump to two-star adult is super, super encouraging. I mean, he's developing a really good-looking frame. 
what an awesome looking deer. I cannot wait to see what he becomes. So, I don't know why, but the photo mode's really trying to lag for us here. I'm gonna try to get a quick photo before we leave, though. Maybe not the best photo just of him. But I really like the one with the three bucks in the background, and then we even have the, the doe down there, too. That is... I'm so excited for that. And I think they, they get to 16, same as Alaska Moose. It was a long time to get our moose. The rate we're going here and the amount we're hunting this map, we should be able to age things up a little quicker. Hopefully sooner rather than later, we'll see what happens with him. But now, we just kind of have some time to kill. We're going to jump around to some spots maybe we haven't been for a bit. At this point, that guy right there may be our only hope, but he actually looks pretty good. We had a four-star tar out there last time. We actually killed a five-star chamois right over there. And we had spotted a good-looking tar and then obviously shot the chamois because... It looked pretty darn good too, but everything else in this cycle just didn't really go as expected. Now there's a bunch of tar over here, and I thought I just saw maybe decent horns on one of them. So we'll try to go and, and spot that, but I'm hopeful for that one straight across. It looked bigger than pretty much every other one out here. I didn't even know three-star adult tar could happen. Is that the one that we were looking at though? Because I would have thought there's a three-star mature. Wait, are there two three-star adults? There are. I mean, there's still a lot of really encouraging stuff on this map for in the future. I still thought whatever we saw was... There we go. Okay, five-star Himalayan tar. I knew that there was a big one in there. That had to be the one that we were looking at. So long as nothing bad happens here, because there's chamois and stuff running everywhere, we could complete that multi-mount literally with one shot. So that was about 250 yards. He's not broadside at all, but they're moving to the right. Even though they're not super resilient, I want him broadside. They actually walk kind of quick, so he should go back to drinking there. As soon as he slows up, we're going to try to drop this shot into the lungs. Slowing up a little bit, but they're still kind of moving. I don't think they're just going to walk away. There we go. Opportunity shot tons of blood and our second five star himalayan tar which i think yeah they both came from the same lake and it, there might be two more in those three star adults we're gonna be able to add that to that multi mount and of all things the last one i would ex would have expected to complete first not only because it has four elements to it but because it's tar and chamois that will be the first one we complete and it's gonna look so cool now, quite possibly, one of the worst places that he could have fallen? Not going to be able to get much for a photo in there with all the grass. So, honestly, we have a, a photo with our first tar. I want to just go back and get this guy in the lodge. A little bit high shot. He was 237 by the time we actually got to go for it. Through the shoulder blade, still got double lung. And, frankly, spine would have been just fine. 93%. I think the last one might have been high 80s, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, 460 on the dot. So he probably even had another year in him, which is insane. Because I thought last time when he stayed a four-star, assuming this is the same tar, and it almost has to be, I thought maybe he wasn't even going to make it. I thought he was too old that year. But that is the thing. There's so many herds and so many tar in each herd here on this map. It's kind of hard to keep track of individual ones, and maybe I was thinking of the wrong one, but... One thing I've been thinking about since the moment we first did this mount, it was the albino chamois we had at first, was completing it. Now with the addition of one more 5-star Himalayan tar, we've got it done, and that is just so cool looking. Two 5-star tar, one 5-star chamois, and an albino 2-star mature chamois. I love that on this kind of rock mount. I really think the rock mounts are one of my favorite things in the lodges, and there's a fair number of them, like our five-star goats on the one on the opposite side. I think there's at least one or two more in the other rooms. But I really like, we've got a good thing going in the center part of the lodge, just off in the other room. Still in view. Easily. My favorite multi-mount that we've just gotten done. At this stage, we gotta go and check on that sandbar deer. We're gonna rest to sandbar drink time. But finally, something broke our way after seemingly everything dying of old age. And I guess to be fair, that uh, Melafalo is looking pretty good too. But let's go and see if the sandbar maybe aged up as well. I mean, can't say I'm surprised. No sign of that four star in here. 
which would indicate he did die of old age. It's kind of wild then, you know, the last cycle before he died of old age. That's the first time we ever came down here and even saw him. And it was good to see, you know, what a really good one looks like. I will say too, the three star now, that was kind of cool. The three star has more of the frame shape that the four star had. And like I said, he was, he was not dark at all. He's a little darker now, obviously as he's aged a year, but I like what I'm seeing there. So we've got a one star young, that would obviously be the replacement of the four star. Two one star youngs actually, and a one star adult. We'll probably try to see, again, if there's any obvious like uneven antlers or anything like that. I thought the one star adult may have had them, but maybe not. I would say everything's looking pretty even. I love the look of that three star though. I'm really encouraged by that. I think those are all the stags in here. Pretty sure that one over there is also a female. So I'm not sure there's anything actually to take out at the moment. But hopefully, this is a spot we return to for a future five star sandbar. But I think, unfortunately, this one star mature Sika deer may end up being our last kill. And because he's just a one star, at that angle, we're gonna take him with a headshot, get him down, get him out of the gene pool. And, you know, it's probably fairly clear by the way that we kind of set this video up. Part two from just an insane hunt. We've got all these red deer, all these things that we're expecting to maybe make five star. None of them ultimately do, but in the end, I mean, the, the melanistic fallow deer, even though we killed our second five star tar today, that fallow, that's what's got me super excited for the future. As for this guy, did not hit the brain this time, but he is a 38%er, so that was a good thing to take out. And we will go back, take one final look at our fully completed multi mount with our second five star tar. And I think now I'm less sure, given the fact that we have way less big red deer to, you know, have one maybe make it. But I think we've got potentially a five star red deer waiting on us in that second age cycle. But that's just so darn cool. I do wish that was in the main room. But it's about as close as we can get. Like I said earlier, you can see it from the main room. We've got a really good thing going here. And finally, our first repeat five star. We've had the Sika, the Duck, Red Deer, Whitetail. Obviously, we had a Tara, a Shammy, a Feral Goat. We finally get our repeat, and it happens to be the one that we need a repeat of for that mount. Pretty darn cool. And I just, I cannot wait to see where that Fallow Deer goes next. We'll be checking in on him every cycle without a doubt. But for now, that's going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.